You're tuned in to Nice-ish, the carnival-specific podcast that addresses chat-worthy topics straight off the Caribbean social scene. It's your get it right. Two listen, points. listen. No time points. now for fake hot revolt. One point. game will be tested. Carnival your knowledge, knowledge. That is your your people, eyes. places, music, food. Let's go. So, welcome to Fet Card Revolt. You ready? I ready. You ready? <laughs> My Soka Stowmate is on here. And, you know, there are very few of you guys. You know, there's, there aren't a lot of people who can. It's just something about being in sync with somebody when you're whining. Mm-hmm. And you are that. And probably <laughs> another, maybe two other people mm. on that, that same level. So I respect, I respect the least. Vibes. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. so for this is the first time that we're doing this whole Fet Card Revoke thing, and I figured that you would be an ideal person to do this with as a carnival veteran, but also, um, you know, just a good a good person to have on to show the people how it's done. Um, so you already know the rules, but I'm going to say it for for them. Basically, you can't research things mm-hmm. while we're on here, right? And so if I ask you a question, it's something that I feel you should already know. Um, and I made these questions up before I knew that you were going to be on here. Okay. Um, and then additionally, you probably have about 10, 15 seconds to answer. Um, and you're going to get two points for each question that you get. Correct. Okay. And, but you won't lose any points if you get a question wrong. Okay. All right. Any questions? Mm-mm. Nah, All right. let's go. We're going to start off with an easy one. Here we go. All right. Which soca artist has a baby by Ricardo Drew? Oh, that's, uh, what's she name again? <laughs> um, uh, this is one of my favorite Are artists. Are you serious? Too. Not fan. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wow. uh, oh my God! I can't believe this. This is this is this really? is this is embarrassing. I know her name though. Come on now. I know, I know, I know, I know. She named it though. Oh God. Cannibal come back again. Oh God. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up my money to all my money done. All right. Uh, that is, um, uh, yeah. Splash. Buddy, what's up? Wow. All right. I am I'm, I'm surprised <laughs> too. And you know, and, and you know what's going to happen? When you're going to say her name, I'm going to be like, right. 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 Patsy. Patrice. Patrice. Yeah. Yeah. Patrice, Patrice Roberts. Roberts. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, this All is right. exciting. Go. All right. Number it's, two. It's, it's a giveaway. <laughs> it's a giveaway. Yeah. All right. So who got dragged on social media for having a rough looking foot some years ago? Oh, uh, fan. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I was like, dang, why are y'all messing with her? You know, she can't help her foot. You know, that is what she, yeah, she, she was born with. My thing is, I don't look. Look, to be honest with you, I don't think that. Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get dragged for saying this. <laughs> I don't think that uh, West Indian women who mm-hmm. live in the West Indies cater to their feet as much as uh, you know Western women or women mm. who are in you know in the U.S. Over US or, yes. or or overseas. I, I feel like. Um, I feel like we, you know, I think West Indian women understand that their feet are for walking. Like, <laughs> like what you, what you expect? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard back foot. Like, you know, we jump in. They, the, the feet have been jumping. They have been doing amazing tricks long, long, long time. And, you know... Th- you can't be mad at a flat, a flat West Indian foot. Like, you know, you can't be mad at if it's not done now, now. But no, no, no. You know, it was done, but it, it's just it was a foot. little crusty. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I think it was dry. Wasn't it dry? It may have been dry. 
I think it was dry. But I mean, but the thing about <laughs> Faye Ann, though, is that the thing that saves her is she's pretty right. much on point everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I got that one right. So You did. Boom. You did. It's all that matters. Next Moving one. on. All right. So, I don't, I, don't, I'm, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the, the stories and everybody's been going crazy with TikTok and quarantine and all that. So, which Soka artist do we know for a fact has definitely watched The Little Mermaid? Jesus. You had to have seen this. This one, oh, it's Little Mermaid? He, he, mm. he, I will say he. I'll give you a little hint because you're looking like you're struggling already. Yeah, that one hard, but... I was going to say he also did another one recently. Um, uh, Trying to be Michael Jackson. Oh, um... <laughs> skinny. Yes, yes, yes. Well skinny. Done. Well done, well done. <laughs> skinny, skinny, yes, yes. Um, the, you need to that go back and watch crazy. the Little Mermaid one. Oh, no, I didn't see that. I, I just I saw back. the Michael Jackson one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that one. He's wildin'. All right. <laughs> Next. We we, we mm. working with, with bands here. Which promotion okay. team has two people holding a cooler in their logo? Promotion team? Not Yeah, not so which bands. brand? Like party. Party. Like a, yeah, oh. which pet promoters? Um, two people holding a cooler? Mm-hmm. It's embedded inside the name of the logo. See? <laughs> Yo, how do you, let me ask you a question. Have you have you vetted these questions? Like, how we know it's not just you that's know this stuff? All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um it's not it's not hooky. Is it hooky? In the process of elimination, right? All right, so let's do uh, this. You, you, multiple choice? You want to do multiple choice? Okay. All right. Well, do you have? No, Actually, you I have. mean, as a contact, as a hint, right? Oh, maybe we can do this. I'm just making this shit up as I go before, you know, I launch this <laughs> out, right? So if I, if I offer you up a hint, you can, get, you, can, you can get one point instead of two if you get okay. it right. All right. All right. I like that. Yeah, that okay. worked. Okay. All right, so two people, is, they're holding a cooler, right? Mm-hmm. Cooler is mm-hmm. the hint to what's in their, their, their name or what goes in the cooler. Yeah, I figured. All right. Um, oh, Icebox. Yes, yes, yes. Icebox Entertainment, you're right. <laughs> you know what's interesting? So, so this is the interesting thing um, I, I'll say about that. So, um, so I have to, so one of the things I have to kind of put out there is that um, so I am definitely a carnival veteran, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In that I've been to the Trinidad Carnival, I don't know, 16 times. Oh. I've been to Miami Carnival, I don't know, 17, 18 times. I've been to <clears throat> a Labor Day, stuff like that, you know, mm-hmm. a lot. And I've been to Barbados maybe seven or eight times. Um, and I've been to Jamaica Carnival twice and couple of different places. Mm-hmm. I will say this. About six years ago, five, six years years ago, I got converted officially. Converted from a Trinidad Carnival, a Trinidad brand, Trinidad promote promotion team, hard, diehard party goer mm-hmm. uh, and follower to the small island mm-hmm. vibes. Mm-hmm. So what happened th- at, therein is that I really want, and I think honestly, over the past few years, New York has had a hard focus on small island culture mm-hmm. um, because I, I think that they realized that people were getting fed up. Yep, but anyway, um, with that, yeah, for real. With that said, I had been disassociating myself with, various uh trini brand um like you know fets and 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 uh and vans and stuff like that mm-hmm. icebox now so how do i bring that back to icebox icebox now is one of the few brands where the only reason why i know them is because they uh 
connected with another brand every year for Labor Day weekend, and they would do a fete in the city um, at a rooftop in Midtown. Mm. I don't know. You are you? Why does it with sound that? familiar? I need I need the name of the fest. It's Icebox, and it would be Icebox at um. Is it um? Uh, it's another. It's another. It's it's a New York, but it's a New York brand. So it's Icebox, and no, actually, I think I feel like it. It might be. That's not Vale, and I don't know if it's Tribe. Oh. Hmm. Um. Is it the same, uh, the ones who host um, Vice? Mm, Them boys? No. No, it's Shore Blue. No, it's not Shore Blue. It's not Icebox and Shore Blue. I don't think it's, no, no, it's not, it's not Shore Blue. Because um, I, I, I am a very, I rock with Shore Blue and anything. Mm-hmm. This, this was a little bit more, it's a little bit more stush, stush vibes. Mm. But, um, but anyway... The fet we were trying to remember was Scorch Ice. I got introduced to them maybe like uh, six years ago, but I didn't go to any of their other events. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, I don't go to like candy coated events and I don't go to um, any Veil vibe events outside mm-hmm. of Trinidad. Mm-hmm. So, um, so I probably wouldn't have gotten the ice box <laughs> thing had I not really... Had I not really thought about, I know the name of, obviously I know the name of the promoters, but mm-hmm. I haven't really gone to many of their events if they haven't collaborated with another. Gotcha, gotcha. With another, with another mm-hmm. You did well though with the hint. It's all right. <laughs> all right. One point. Number, we are on to number five. We have to take this back to circa 2014, I think. Okay. Uh, 2014, 2013-ish, right? So, this was a, so speaking of NYC feds, right? So this was a, mm-hmm. a, a dutty feds. Oh my God. And it, okay? and, it, and, it, and it lost all street cred in 2014. Which, what was the mm-hmm. name of that fed? <laughs> it called, <laughs> you ready? I'm ready? It called Kianbu Kianling. <laughs> oh God. Um, no, I remember. Listen. Go ahead. What was the name of the? Wait. What was it called after the Scambule? Scambule. Yes. Remember? You remember the song Scambule? Scambule. Take all my money. Yes. Yes. Woo. I. 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 In. In the road. Yes. R. I. P. R. I. P. No. And, and you know what? And thankfully so, because yes. that situation and that circumstance was. It was. I mean, we understand that soca culture is cult culture and specifically in new york city because you know soca is so um it it has always been in brooklyn Mm -hmm. and has been uh very specific to a certain kind of area and certain kind of thing you can only do this and blah 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 so cambule really got a following when they had the video of their let out in the middle of Flatbush. Now, I don't know if how much you, I don't know how many, how many of the Cambolet events have you gone to? I think I went to t- two or three. Okay. So you must have been at the one where they let the truck out at the end of the fact and the truck drove all the way down, I feel like it was like Avenue H down Utica, um, and they were wilding in the street. Mm. And um, and that this video, was at the end. This is at the end of the fest. Oh yeah, I probably left by then. And the the video got out, and once that video got out, I mean, it was scandalous. Like it was, it was wild, and it was also something that you had never really seen happen because I mean, it wasn't Labor Day weekend. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it was a dutty fet. And so now you had, I don't know. I mean, it's the end of the fet. So maybe about 50, 60 people following this truck that's driving down a major street in Brooklyn on a regular Sunday. Wow. I think it was a Sunday. Yep, um, always Sundays. Cause that damn yeah. church across the street would freaking take up all the parking spaces. Exactly. And, uh, and people were like, oh, they allowing us to do that now? Mm. I buy in my ticket. And then what wound up happening is they got so over, uh, 
Yes. No, I, I went the following year. I went the following year, and it was decent. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. It was decent. But then the following year after that, that is when they, wasn't, they weren't able to control the crowd. I mean, people had missed it, and uh, they wanted to be a part of that first original, you know, scandalous, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dirty, whining on, <laughs> you know, cabs, dollar cab type of vibe. Really? And, and uh, you know. You can't you can't get down like that. Not with NYPD, you know, uh, right. keeping all the videos. So yeah, yeah. so it go. So it go. So it go. Look where we are now. Like it just got work. Like it just got tighter and tighter and tighter. I mean, that. does Moksha still Moksha still happening? Moksha, I think it's done. Um, I don't know. I think after the that shooting, I don't know if there was oh, another one after that. Jesus. You remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I was yeah. driving back from Hook. Or maybe they did have another one after that. I, honestly, I don't even know because I don't keep up. <laughs> I think they did have one after that, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, got you. Anyway, moving What's on. Next? Yeah, All I'm right, ready. so we're we're talking about pick me, mm-hmm. and you just had pick one. Me. Okay. So, yes, <laughs> what's the name? You may not know. You know what? It. It's a it's a multiple choice. Though, okay, it's a multiple choice. What's okay. the name of Bungie and Fayan's daughter? Okay. Is oh. It, oh, you know. Uh, Siri. Oh, look at oh, yeah, I'm gonna give you three points for that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely had a multiple choice up here. Excellent. Yeah, yeah right. I remember that one. Cool, cool. <laughs> so I always thought that it was interesting that they named her Siri, but uh, I think that the fact that they keep her so involved and mm-hmm. you know they got her doing so many things and they really focus on her and then they focus on their family as being trying to be as regular of a family as possible. Yeah. But, you know, I really appreciate that. Um, and I like how Fan really uh, pushes that, that vibe. So I'm, I'm all here for the family vibes. Like just, I feel like yeah. following Soka artists for so long, is just like very intriguing. Like I'm more about looking at their lives than I am, you know, like American culture. I'm like, I don't really care what's happening with Bay-G, Bay, <laughs> Bay, um, Bay-Z, <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce or, you know, uh, what's his name? Kanye and, and Kim. Let's talk about Faye. You know, like, back when Onika and Bungie were a thing. And, like, mm-hmm. I'm like, now look at him. You know what I mean? So that's, mm-hmm. that's you know, interesting to me. Um, yeah, yeah. Right, we're we're going um, to gonna switch it up a little bit. All right. We're going to go on the dance hall scene. Okay. Which dance hall artist just chopped off his hair? Popcorn. Yes, all right, all right, all right. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Come to mind. <laughs> you have to just look at it or not, man. Yeah, I said no. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. That was a big deal, though. It that was. was a big deal. I wasn't ready. Yeah. You know what, though? I think that, uh, you know, he looks. I think you that th- with the locks, I think there was a. A lot of times, even with me, I think the locks, uh, they, they, don't, they, they keep you young. And then so... Do you think he did that just because he just signed with uh, on OVO? Mm-hmm. OVO? Mm-hmm. Oh, was that how you pronounce it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or it's a, it's a, okay, gotcha. It's, it's I'm like, OVO? <laughs> okay. No, it's okay. No, it's all good. <laughs> um, nah. I mean... I don't think he did it because he felt like he he was pressured to. I think mm. that do I think that he probably wanted to uh to have eyes on him mm-hmm. um along with the signing? Yeah, probably. I mean I mean it's time. It's time for him to to uh to tr- transition into something else. And if anybody's going to be able to do it, Drake can do it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, it's a good look for him. You look a little, you know, a little bit more grown, a little bit more polished. Let's see, let's see what the lyrics sound like, though. It, it better not change. I mean, or unless it's like evolving for the better. Like he's definitely a fave. Probably my no, he's probably the, my favorite dancehall artist right now. Him and really? Shen, him and Shensia. I mean, I haven't. It's I'm addicted. Like I, there probably isn't a song that I don't like. Why? Who who do you have on your your list? Um. I wouldn't say popcorn, but um, my number one is um, is busy. Period. 
Oh, busy. Damn it. Shit. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think I think that the thing with Busy is his lyrics are, yeah, and I think that he's also tested the waters. I wouldn't mm-hmm. say he's going crossover, mm-hmm. but I think that I think that um, I think that he's he's extremely uh, talented and and he and he's kind of like done slow music. He's done mm-hmm. love music. He's done mm-hmm. gunman tune. He's mm-hmm. done dance, jo- and then he keeps it consistent with the busy. Yes. You know what I mean? That's my favorite part about every body like busy conscience popcorn like even when you think mm-hmm. about hip co- uh hip com- <laughs> hip corn even when you think about mm-hmm. hip com i love when when artists make their signature sounds yeah i think that is so clutch and i absolutely adore it yeah 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 definitely i think uh i think yeah, the busy the busy is the thing that yeah busy and then when i saw him at uh big back barbecue last year mm-hmm. at coney island I feel like he's the one that really took the stage, even though he, uh, DeVito, like, I think he went, he was last. No, Bungie was last. But DeVito went first before mm. Busy Signal. So, I mean, and DeVito's an international artist. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. think that, uh, yeah, Busy's definitely one of my top, definitely top. Lyrically, I don't think a lot of people can rock with him. How, I- I'm, after going to Dominica <laughs> for World Creole Music Fest and seeing Mavado perform, I am now like afraid of purchasing a ticket to watch another dance hall artist because I do not want it to be whack. I was so I was thoroughly disappointed, and I, I want to see Popcorn perform. How was how does Conscience? I'm sorry. How does Busy Signal perform? Like, is it? Entertainment. Hype. Okay. So don't forget, Busy has a lot of tune. He has a lot of songs that go back far. So and he has newer ones too. Mm-hmm. So and um, he has dance songs. So all right. So I think probably for me, the most energetic, the most energetic dance hall entertainer is Elephant Man. Right for oh. me. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's the extreme. That's the mm-hmm. extreme. And then you have people who don't really do much on stage, um, but just spit lyrics. I don't even know. I don't even know who to, who to put in there. I wouldn't, it's not even fair to put anybody in that category, but mm-hmm. they're just people that, who just spit lyrics. They don't dance. They don't move around. Or they spit half the lyrics, put the mic out, expect you to sing the rest, and you're, and they're not doing anything for the entire show. Exactly. That's what I, that's what I, I think I, what's that guy? He bleached out his face. Um, Ooh, vibes? No, not vibes, not vibes. Uh, there's <laughs> another guy. Uh, he used to roll with the with uh, with the vibes crew, light skin guy. Uh, he was doing de- he I think what he would call horror horror dance all. But anyway, mm. um, I forgot his name. Don't worry about it. It don't even matter. <laughs> but I think Busy is in a really good position to be able to like sing sweet tune. He doesn't dance on stage like some artists, mm-hmm. but um, but I think his 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 performance is going to be better than, than a, uh, than a, uh, no, no, nah, conscious is good too, but definitely better, better than, um, the guy you were talking about just mm-hmm. now. Movado. Movado, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Noted, noted. But you know noted. what though? You think Movado, you think Movado was going to really bring all of his vibes I to Dominica though? I didn't, it's not, it wasn't about the vibes. Like he didn't say anything, you know, maybe he was high. I don't know, but he would le- legit just, say three words, be jumping from left to right. And then that was it. Like you, you weren't, you weren't finishing the song. Like you weren't, you were not performing. It was just. But he might've just been there to pick up a check, son. I guess. But <laughs> I don't know. like it. Now I got to go, yeah. I'm about to go YouTube and see his performances. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, I would, I mean, I wouldn't buy a ticket to go see Movado anyway, but um, I'm sure he, probably would i hope that he would put more effort into his own situation right 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 right. yeah yeah, i hear you um okay next one number eight eight damn two more all right Mm -hmm. so i mean i don't i don't know how how well do you follow what's your familiarity with other carnival influencers on the scene like, do you Other, know, do you know, it, like, at least three female ones? Carnival influencers. Oh, yeah. Like, bloggers. I know, I know a few. Okay. All right. So, okay. name 
three carnival influencers that were associated with the NOLA Caribbean experience. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. you could you could guess or whatever. You know. The NOLA Caribbean experience. Yeah, that What's joint that the was NOLA Caribbean? Really? What's that? That's the joint that was What's happening that? in New Orleans. So it was like uh, similar to when well, I won't say, I mean, I put it in the same category as um, the Hollywood Carnival. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So that was supposed to happen. It's the same weekend as Hookie. Oh, that's so probably why I don't know. Why about you it. don't know. Right. Right. So there were some bloggers that um, had, you know, signed up and they were doing their whole promotion thing with them or whatever. That was going to happen this year? Yeah, it happened last year. It happened oh, it did. two okay. years before. So this was, I okay. think it was going to be the third year or something like that, maybe. Okay. Mm, I am going to have to pass on that one because I am so. I um, I'm a hooky fan, mm-hmm. so I don't need anything that comes up around that time. I don't even look at it. Okay. So I mean, I, the only thing I could think, and the the only influence I was gonna I was gonna say, I know she wouldn't be there. She's gonna be in D.C. and I was gonna say uh, mm-hmm. Soka Tribe. Okay. Yeah. Soka Tribe would be in D.C. Uh, maybe you said it's in New Orleans, so mm-hmm. maybe it would be. I don't know if she considers herself a carnival influencer. I think that she, no blogger, I don't yeah. know if she, no, so the girl I'm talking about, uh, she's not a blogger. <laughs> but if you call she's her a girl, like, like a, if she, if she, if she, she ha- like these people legit have like brands. She's like, know? oh, okay, no, no, no. This girl is more of an Instagram sensation Okay. Uh, that has been, you know, kind of following all the carnivals and going to mm. all the carnivals and, you know, creating her own vibes. She's mm-hmm. not West Indian. But we're going to leave her name out of it for now. Uh, but I don't is think her name? She's one of them. Okay. All right. We'll do that offline. Because <laughs> she's, yeah. Yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Next. <laughs> um, mm. Oh, okay. I know you've never, I don't think you've gone on Uber Soka Cruise. No. Name. I have I have issues with Uber Soka Cruise. We'll Ooh, talk about that. I, I think that's Either it. now, later, whatever. You and everybody else right now. Um, no. I'm sure so for different reasons. I've had reasons. issues with Uber right, right. Cruise. I've had issues with them since they launched, but we can talk. Okay. Go ahead. All right, we're going to leave that. <laughs> Sidebar. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Nate, uh, I won't say two. Go ahead. Name one artist, one major artist that has never been on Uber Soka Cruise. Or beside, or Marshall. Okay. There you go. All right. I can name another one. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, Bungie it was, has. It was two. Bungie has now. Bungie has. Um, another major Soka artist that has not been on Uber besides Marshall. Kess was. Um, they had a lot of art. They had a lot. Of, that, that's that's <laughs> tough because they've had. They made sure to pull everybody. Um, but who's who's major like Marshall? I don't even think Little Rick was on there. <laughs> he, I actually technically. I don't think Little Rick. Technically, was on there. that is correct. He was only at Juvie. He's never been on the boat. Wrong again. It was after this that I realized little Rick was on the boat for 2019 and he did not perform for Juve for 2019. Okay. In my mind. Um, but also, um, I don't know if you would call him major, but I don't know if it was, I don't know if he, maybe he was there but the year before, but um, I don't know that. Um, oh my God. He's from New York. Well, he's not from New York. He's from um, St. Vincent, but. Um. Oh my God! <laughs> Why am I blanking on this guy's <laughs> name? You know who I'm talking about too, because what? it was a big deal. It was a big deal that he had the biggest song last year, but he was not at Uber Soka Cruise because he was somewhere else. And they wind up playing Uh-oh. a song on the same rhythm as his song, mm-hmm. and they. And the, and all the Ubersoka DJs and everybody really pushed that song on Ubersoka Cruise. And as a result, after Ubersoka Cruise, that song got the got probably the same level of traction as his song. Who the hell is it? I'm I'm lost. 
What song? Do you know the song? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, crazy people. Oh. Mash it up. Don't he up. <laughs> All set the crazy people jumping up when he bun. <laughs> Wait, he... Wait, who's that? That is, um... Why am I... Bl- why are we blanking? I'm, we're bl- I know, and it's horrible. I'm losing my own damn game. Um... But no, I don't think he's been on it. Well, right. He wasn't on it last year. So he had, I think at the time, he had legit the biggest song of the year. Because by the time Uwe Soka Cruz comes out, right, it, all the carnivals are done, right? And yeah. so because St. Vincent Carnival happens so much er- earlier than some of the other summer carnivals, and that song had come out so much earlier... He had the vibe. And then what's his name? The Trini Soka artist from Brooklyn. Um, lyrical? Lyrical. With his song. Um, last time that I checked. Uh, uh-huh. Ruction? Ruction. So the reason why Ruction got so much forwards is because... What's the guy's name? I know you're looking it up now. I'm not, actually. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I'm counting your... your, your um. Your My voice. numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, we have to. Um, we have to. We, it's right at the tip of my tongue, but um, okay. He sings like nasty. Who? Oh, let me look at the nasty up. Nasty up. Nasty up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's just let's problem child. Thank you. Problem child. Okay, boom. <laughs> so, since problem child was not on the boat, they rip Rukshan after mm-hmm. U- USC. Ruction was one of the biggest, biggest, biggest songs coming off of USC. Because you know USC bus, you know USC bus tune. So Ruction was one of the biggest songs that they bust. And after everybody was playing playing Ruction, mm-hmm. either at after Nasty Up, as if Nasty Up was the was not the biggest tune on that. Yeah, movie. yeah. And Problem Child had a problem. He, had, he was tight about it. That was in 2000. I guess that was 2018. Problem Child was tight about that. Yo. It was a problem. Damn. That was an issue. Anyway, that go on. That go on. Good that, history. That go on. I like that. I, got, I learned a little something because I definitely did not know because I wasn't checking yeah. for... Yeah, I yeah Problem for, Child, I, all lyrical. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, no. Actually, I wasn't checking for Uber Soka Cruise. I wasn't checking for them after 2017. And the only reason I went last year... Well, to juve because yeah. you know, it was in turk i so. remember right yeah bye mm-hmm. all right last one last one okay go on probably i don't know if you know this actually all right so which caribbean country's national bird is the doctor bird wow <laughs> Figured out come on one. <laughs> yeah that one's hard son we, that we one talked is hard. about we talked about this country we talked about people from this country towards the latter part of this conversation that one's hard all right let me find let me show me let me see the doctor bird it's the doctor bird Mm -hmm. it looks like a little bird has like a long i don't know if i should call it a beak or not but it almost looks like a needle st vincent you want to you want to do multiple choice dominica that was good (laughs) (laughs) got you i see it in the little flag i see where you were going with that um, it can't be my country. It can't be Antigua. I w- I would hope that it's not. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's not Antigua. No, so no. I, about Ante- it's Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Mm. <laughs> you know, I was my thing was I was like, nah, I can't be Jamaica. That's way too obvious. Jamaica's no one ever puts Jamaica in any of their questioning. That was a trick question. Because I'm like an honorary. You don't understand. <laughs> I think you had asked me one time years ago and you were like yeah so i think or you had asked me or you had said something like you didn't know whether or not dance hall was my favorite or soka was my favorite mm-hmm, and I so there that. was a period when i like i legit was like jamaican for a minute and i was an honorary <laughs> jamaican and so they're always going to get jamaica's always going to get respect and then once i got actually you. visited and carnival was life it got even worse so really yeah. mm-hmm, that was only included in here <laughs> yeah. Me being a small and you are too, but me being from a small island, I have to respect the big ones, right? And I, I, I always respect 
the islands that drive West Indian culture. And for me, there are four. Mm -hmm. For me, there are four. Jamaica, clearly. Mm -hmm. Trinidad. Barbados. Mm -hmm. And Haiti. Okay. Right? And I feel like those are like the biggest drivers of, uh, of West Indian culture. Obviously, Haiti being a little bit more on the French side. There are a few French islands. I, I feel like I always give them respect. I'm from Brooklyn, so you can't go anywhere and not bump into one of them. Yeah. However, however, with that said, though, I've always felt like the other islands that uh, give a lot of flavor to the, you know, to the pot of the Caribbean have been just like um, kept the bay. And I, and I, and not just because I'm from Antigua, because I know what we have brought to the table, but some of the other islands that are extremely significant and are now getting a lot of play like St. Vincent, like mm-hmm. St. Lucia, mm-hmm. you know, um, and I, and like Grenada, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of, I think a lot of people kind of push, push those islands aside and push some of the other smaller islands aside uh, you know, like St. Thomas, like the VI, what? Yeah. Like, you know, the amount of culture that is just within those small chasms of, of the Caribbean is, uh, is significant. I and mean, we can't forget them. So, you know, sometimes when it comes to Jamaica and Trinidad and, 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 and Barbados and, and, uh, and Haiti, I kind of just, you know, I, we know what it is. I, you're not going to steal my, my shine. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true no but that that's true I, I was listening to I think I was listening to um Talib Kweli's podcast and 88 Keys was on there and he's Nigerian and he was talking about how growing up in I think it was Brooklyn he's like growing up in Brooklyn like it was either it was cool if you were Jamaican it wasn't cool if you were were Haitian because like the Correct. Haitians and the Africans were basically in that same boat like for some reason like haiti wasn't cool you know what i mean but if you right, said that you were right. and, Haitian, and haitians would say that they, they would say would say that they were jamaican and i had this Absolutely. moment in life where i was just like i can't find shit out here at boston carnival ain't no turks and caicos flags but the closest thing i got is this bahamian flag right here so <laughs> i'm gonna rock this for a minute and then i was like you know what? i'm not doing this shit granted i do have family in in bahamas but it's just not the same right um, i got you but yeah, nobody, it's, I'm glad that we're here now and everybody's starting to recognize the other countries that are, you know, that make up the whole Caribbean nation. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, we're, we're getting there. Rona stopped all that, but we're going to get, we're going to get back there. St. Lucia yeah, is opening up. St. Lucia is opening up. Just got yeah. that announcement. Really? Yeah, they are, they are um, about to let Americans in. Um, under stipulations, of course, I think like, you know, you have to have like a negative test within 48 hours before your flight or something like that. And a whole bunch of of things. I think as of June 5th, I think that was the article I'll send it to you. Wow. That's dope. Yeah. Smart, actually. I mean, you know, you can't, you know, 95% of travel has been affected by Corona. Mm. Uh, there has been a reduction of 95% of travel. So, I mean, some of these islands rely on, you know, tourism as their number one Mm -hmm. uh, income generator. So very, very smart for St. Lucia. I think by being the first to open up, they're going to gather a lot of, uh, of revenue in the, in that, in that quarter. And I, and I wish them well, I know it can't make up for, the two three months that they've lost revenue, but mm-hmm. uh, especially in the height during the height of their um, of their season yeah. for tourism, but you know, hopefully they make up something. I, I don't. I want to see. My, I want to see my islands do well, and I know Saint Lucia. As much as they are a a big tourist destination, um, I do know that they don't have a large capacity to handle tourism. Mm-hmm. So. So they don't even, they, ha- they do have two airports, but there's only one major airport. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they don't really get a lot of, they don't really get a lot of tourists, like how, how we think. So uh, I, whatever they could grab, I hope that they get it. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Um, so mm-hmm. that was fun. Mm-hmm. We even though I'm going to match up everything. The first, the first joint. <laughs> 
And you know, and you know, I really I was so like surprised. Patrice. I was like, yo, he's gonna get this. I don't even know why I'm putting it on here. And shocker. I I really <laughs> like Patrice. Like I love Patrice. she's one of my favorite 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 uh female soca artist one of my favorite i like her more than i like fayan no she listen so patrice has always been at the top for me um fayan my my issue (laughs) my issue with fayan not not even issue um first of all she's just our majority of her tunes are aggressive and they are they are they are aggressive like move out the way sweet tunes (laughs) yeah you know, and, and, and that's fine, but it, they don't, they don't, I mean, they speak to me, but they aren't the same. Like, I, you know, I love, I will harmonize all day and right. Patrice will drop shit. And I'm like, yes, yes. And it's, you know, she has pace. She ha- like, it's just, you know, she's yeah. very versatile and Fan has been very the same, the same, the same yeah, for the yeah, most yeah. part. So yeah, but the, no, I love the- her. But the thing just... that got me with Patrice uh, a, a few years back is when she used to always make sure that she would drop a tune in a small island mm. carnival mm-hmm. for a small island carnival. So she always dropped a tune for uh, for Barbados for years. She would always drop a tune for. Oh, what's for, that one? I got one over. that I will go down in a second. Uh, it was a remix. It's a really? remix to a little Rick Joy. It's possible. Shit, I just listened to it and I was just like, "Oh my god, I love it." It's like a couple. It's definitely probably five, six years old. But. Patrice again. I love me so much. <laughs> but she would always drop a tune for uh, the other carnivals, and that's the thing. Not many people did that. I think recently mm. Fan did some stuff for with some Denary stuff. Um, um and Creedy, Creedy does his little St. Lucia thing. I like what he yeah, did last, last yeah, summer. Yeah, but you know, Patrice has been riding with small island culture. And you know, anybody who rides with small island culture, mm-hmm. I'm with him. Mm-hmm. I'm with him. So yeah, I love one. me some pretty I'm, I messed up that one though. I messed up. So who's the other artist you were thinking? So Marshall was one. Who's the other one? <laughs> if you want to know the truth, I didn't have another one. <laughs> oh Jesus. But I was like, oh, you know what, problem child, that's good. That's good. I honestly I was like, I don't know. I meant to ask. Anyway, it worked out. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You you finished up with twelve points. Oh, okay. All right. Points. Out of out of Oh, I mean, what is it? Twenty? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> that is less than satisfactory, ma'am. It's I, I mean I, it's more than half, you know. No, yeah, but more than half is like a fifty five percent score, son. Like you know what I mean? What is it a C That's like a, but No, it's a D, <laughs> son. I was trying to be lenient. It's like a D, that, son. That's a curve. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good, though. I could appreciate it. Uh, it's so good. Being the first, I feel honored. Yeah, I feel honored to be the first. I know. It was good. I knew it was, was going to be vibes. I'm very excited. Um, I am going to... I got my second batch of questions. Edit this up. I know you're gonna cut I'm this actually up not. This up. I'm not there. I think there's only two places in here where I have to edit. That's where you um where your mic muted. And that was that's really it. And then I think there was a part about something about the Uber Sober. Not Uber Sober. Oh, oh we have to really, talk about them. There really isn't point. that that much. I'm editing. I'm gonna leave this we right have to here. Talk about them. <laughs> All right, homie. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. I'm gonna holler at it's you. A pleasure. Let me know Appreciate if I should you. make any edits to this, okay? No, everything. Well, not good. to the episode, but to the game. Oh, I will. I got right. you. Thank All you. Right, my dear. Have a good night. Good night, you All too. Right. Later. Yes. Uh, I had an absolute blast recording that episode with my boy, your boy, Young Jay, Jamar in the house. Thank you so much for joining me. And I am thoroughly looking forward to the future episodes of Fet Card Revoked. So remember to put your name in the hat. You can DM me on Instagram or Twitter and see if you're going to be the next guest on Fat Card Revoked. Until then. Thanks for tuning in to the latest episode of Nice-ish. As always, I'm grateful for your time and attention. Stay plugged in by subscribing to this podcast, my website, tingsnice.com, and following me on all social media platforms. Visit the show notes for all the links and the plugs related to this episode. 
If you ever have questions about anything we discuss on the show, be sure to hit me up at info at tingsnice.com. And remember, sharing is caring, so please pass this podcast on to anyone you believe will benefit from the information. I'm going to check you all later.